car has been a part of, would you say, Hoonigan culture? Oh, yeah. I mean, just car culture in general, but for us, we've always watched this car on the internet. I mean, this was the car that started people saying, that's not a burnout. Yeah. Cranky, 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 this, cranky, This is our cranky. biggest rival, and we've never met him until now. And these boys are here, and they decided to come and bless us with uh, some of the fastest tire killing we're going to see. Bless us or ruin our life, one or the other. So, Roddy, thank you for coming in. Nice to meet you, too. Woo. Tell us about Cranky. It's, he's Cranky, um, <coughs> just a HQ sedan, holding from Australia. It's a, uh, got a 511 cube big block chef um, under the hood, blown injected by BG Engines in Australia. Uh, they maintain all the engine. Is that 500 cubes? Yeah, 511 cubes. It's not this, it's everything it. that's on top of it. Big's always better. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about the motor, let's get into it. So, a, yeah, 511. Yeah, 511, a blown injected big block Chevron methanol. Yeah. It makes 1,483 horsepower, uh, 1,290 1, foot pounds. <laughs> um, you, know, you know, I turn it to about, yes, yeah, 7,800 uh, on a good day. Yeah, and it loves it. Just loves big RPM. And what size blower is that? Uh, 871. It's 871. Yep. You rev this thing almost to 8,000 yeah, RPM? Yep, not a problem. That's insane. No, we'll do that today. Is this all mechanical yeah, fuel mechanical stuff? Yeah, mechanical injection, yep. Oh, yeah, no. full Italy, wow. uh, uh, mechanical injection. So yeah, there's nothing can really go wrong, you know, unless you lose a, you know, a belt or a drive, it's yeah, dry sumped. I imagine um, you need your fuel to be on point when you're Oh yeah, when it's gotta be, in the, especially in the weather conditions. Um, so do you guys run methanol for, for power or for yeah, cooling? Or for both, so yeah. Power and cooling. I mean, yeah, power. so this isn't a proper burnout car, this is no, a cruiser. It's, yeah, it's sort of a power cruise car, you know. It's you a can, really yeah, high power yeah, cruise yeah, car. This is a cruiser? Yeah, this isn't even a burnout yeah, car. You, know, you, can, you can do off-street racing, you can do uh, power skids, you know, you can cruise a track. That's what power cruise is all about, you know yeah. what I mean? And it's probably the best show in the country. And that's why you guys are here right now. you know what I mean? So it's an all-rounder. Huh? How long have you had Cranky? Um, I've had Cranky over oh, 20, 20 odd years. Wow. wow. Same chassis. Same chassis. Same so we saw the video of Cranky lighting the bushes on fire. We shared it on Hoonigan way back. This is like 2011, 2012. People were just blown away by it. But then it, it started to develop an Australian audience. So no matter what we did, they would say, that's not a burnout, cranky. <laughs> it's one of those videos that you don't see for a while, then three months later, just pops up on Facebook and Instagram and yeah. people still still love it, you know what I mean? I mean yeah. This thing has done nothing but crush all of our egos. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we think we're doing cool ass burnouts, getting into third gear and then so let's talk about that at like what's what kind of wheel speed are you seeing when you're doing a burnout here? Oh I'm not sure exactly approximately, me, you know what I mean? What gear are you in? Oh, top gear. You're all the way. <laughs> top gear wide open. And what's the gearing in this thing? Uh 30. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not like that's that's like you got like four tens. Yeah. Like what kind of transmission? Turbo four hundred. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Is that basically the basic for most of these? Yeah, it's hard to keep transitions in it. Um, I've had some other people do it and they failed. So all of this we expected. We expected yeah. huge blowers coming through, big power, big V8s. What I don't think we were expecting was how nice the rest yeah, of the car it's is. Like it. It's obviously like custom wrap dash all and that trim and all that sort of interior and, and the dash has been in there since 2010. So I've been sort of trying to maintain, it's very hard to maintain it when you've got dirty hands and you're changing wheels, yeah. and you're doing burnouts and all the rubber comes in the window, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's still, it's still tight inside. I and the paint it. looks great, like when was the last yeah. time you saw a drift car with yeah, a paint exactly, job that exactly nice? Like, yeah, I just love that he kept this like factory looking color. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it all works together with the orange. That's so good. Yeah. Is that for a door door bar that you don't yeah, normally yeah, have yeah. installed? I originally used to race the car. It didn't have that big engine, it originally had a small blown, small block in it, and I used to race in you know, the street drags and all that. So I want to ask you, <clears throat> Somewhat of a personal question. Our biggest thing with these cars is we notice you got big motors, nice paint, <laughs> nice rims, and then there's always these <laughs> small, dinky little these, tires. Uh, yeah, well, that's yeah, yeah. They, they work good. You know, they're cost effective, but I don't have to put the twenties on and the bill of wheels and blow the tires. <laughs> I mean, they're not as small as we thought because yeah, they they sit. Yeah, it's a two twenty five. We're just curious why. But they sit in just, so much. Just, just for ease. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, just, just cost. You know, when the tires, the big wheels on it, as you know. Yeah, they're two hundred fifty dollars each. Yeah, they're forty forty dollars each. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, and they still smoke. And up I guess being that. inside, it probably keeps all the tires. Well, it does. It sometimes, you know, when it blows the tires, you'll see today. You know, when the tire will come up here, it could flap onto the guards. But you know, sometimes it's easy wiped off, and sometimes you got to paint it. There's right. So having them inboard, it keeps all yeah. the tire shred. Tubs in. Yeah. Keep it all in the tubs there, but 
I just realized this. Yeah, this it's is all paint. been cleared up. Oh yeah. yeah. This is paint. This is not there. this is not vinyl or anything. No, no, that's, that's painted. Yeah. And the boys were saying before that you'll repaint the lower section of this that's quite right. often because you want that's it to right. stay looking nice. Yeah, exactly right. I'm digging I'm digging the exhaust setup. Yeah. That's definitely something um, unique. Well, like almost blast pipe style. Pretty much. Um, the methanol, as you know, unburnt fuel comes out. Yep. Um, you know, blows flames. A lot of times if it catches fire or something, the flame will come up, burn the bumper bar, the beaver, the boot lid. I'm trying to stop that. Go back to the Candos fire. Yeah, years ago yeah, yeah. YouTube. what happened there was I backed up to the bush um, I give it a couple of revs clear the engine out it was raw fuel it was grass it was a hedge uh, raw fuel went on it that ignited and just just burnt the whole, <laughs> whole bush down you know what I mean and, and I didn't even know until I was driving away from it and someone looked in the crowd and I think what is the crowd looking back for you know <laughs> the whole thing was on fire as you know and, and you know, I've had over five or six million hits on YouTube. Oh yeah, it's been that's, huge. It's something that you don't see in the videos. We see the burnouts, yeah. but you don't realize how nicely done they are. Oh, yeah. Like, you have good panel gaps, yeah. you know, yeah. like oh, things like that. Yeah, it's like a right. proper, we'll, we'll proper built. Bro. Yeah, I always there. figured they were more like beaters with big engines yeah. in them. Well, some, some are, some yeah. are. Some are um, tidy, some but that's because this is more of a cruiser than yeah, a proper. A power yeah. I used to do the burnouts all the time. And I sort of get sick of fixing it and catching fire, and I thought I've had enough. I just want to present the car nice, go to Power Cruise. Um, it's, it's my favourite event. Absolutely. Definitely. And that's why we're here today. Yeah? Awesome car. And we're happy you guys came out here. We're really yeah, excited we're about this. It's it's kind of a dream for me and Hurt for you to be here. Like Cranky has been one of the cars that we've always like looked at and said, "Damn, I'm expecting to learn something today." That's that's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting. You gonna hand over the Burnout King title? I'm not even going to challenge him. <laughs> I'm not even going to challenge. Can I ride my dog? Oh! Hey man, don't don't tease me. Don't tease me. <laughs> he has no problem breaking other people's stuff. If Twerk Stallion was a Burnout machine, I would hope that it would be. Crazy. Oh yeah. Got the orange. My car used to be orange. Got the blast pipes. The chrome Johnny. Come on. This gets your seal of approval. Yeah, I like it. Go, man. Well, I think it's about time. It's time to warm it up. And yeah, let's get that warm up going. I think we should go get everyone out of the building. Let's round them up. Thank you again for coming through, man. Appreciate it. By the way, I like the uh, Ken Block previous 8 bit hat. Awesome, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Yeah, they gave it to me inside. I'm gonna keep that up in my man cave. I just realized this is awesome. carbon. That's carbon. Yeah. yeah. From the US, that's a JBR hat. Okay, nice. Yep. So this is something just straight off, like off the shelf, like a pro mod race. Yeah, car pro. Hat. I was gonna yep. say right off a of pro mod yep. car. Is there anything special you guys have to do to the suspension? Nah, the suspension's pretty standard. Yeah. You know, it's got falling and falling from the back and cool overs adjustable. That sort of I had that originally just to suit the big wheels. This thing's insane, bro. And they're so nice. It's funny because like so like this view is the view I know of Cranky because yep. it's just that coming at you with just fire behind it. I kind of hope there's fire today. I hope this is <laughs> everything we dreamed of. So we finally answered it for all of you Aussies out there who are like, get a proper burnout car. Apparently this isn't even a proper burnout yeah, car. But he's going to show us. But he's, he's apparently going to show us the best that a cruiser can do. Seconds. Literally three seconds smoked out. Sorry I got in your way. So these guys threw down one of the craziest burnouts I've ever seen. Even though it was only three seconds or four seconds or whatever it was, the wheel speed's insane. The car is crazy, but cars are cars. And car issues happen. Unfortunately, the fuel pump went out. I'm going to Power Cruise. They, they asked me if I wanted to go to Power Cruise because I couldn't finish it today. We couldn't source the part, but we're gonna get the part. They're gonna get the part. They're gonna fix it up. I want to meet these guys at Power Cruise 
and finish this burnout off. Toys. They're gonna lay it down. So thanks for coming by, guys. Thanks, mate. Thanks for the opportunity. Yeah. We'll finish this up at Power Cruise. See you there. It's like a three-second burnout, and there's already smoldering rubber on it.